Do you ever hear the story of how you, how do you boil a frog in water? Uh, the answer is you take the frog and you put it in a uh, pot of cold water and you slowly turn up the heat and the frog never notices. And pretty soon you get a cooked frog. Anyway, that is uh, what makes, what I think about when I think about how people's reaction to the rising uh, interest rates were this past spring. Uh, it happened kind of gradually enough that uh, people were kind of in denial maybe. Um, it, it, not a ton of reaction. I mean, you did slowly start to feel things slowing down. But uh, all of that changed dramatically a couple of weeks ago when the Fed had kind of an unexpected and uh, in many people's views, um, unwarranted um, 0.75 jump in the interest rate in the short term lending rate. Um, that sent the real estate market, the, the stock market, everything into a tailspin per, uh, in the short term. Rates touched 7% briefly before they settled back a little bit. It was kind of chaos. Um, and it has left a lot of forecasters scrambling to kind of update um, what they were predicting uh, moving forward here. So I thought I'd uh, give you a little update myself. First of all, um, what you see is, uh, as far as the change, the, the, the experts are calling it uh, what we're seeing right now, kind of an inflection point where we're, we're transitioning from the insane uh, market of the last two years to a little bit more back to normal. Um, you're seeing the, the increase in listings and uh, a decrease in showings, which is leading to inventory starting to creep back up to where we, we really need it. Um, Aside from that, again, on the forecast, um, I, I gave this to you about a month and a half ago, maybe two months. Uh, things have changed a little bit. Um, as far as uh, what people are predicting for this coming year, you can see uh, Zellman is the one that kind of came in here and really spoiled things for people. Um, uh, Zellman's the one that is predicting a, uh, a loss in, in value over the next year. Everyone else is is a little more bullish um comes out to about 2.5 percent is what uh, the overall expectation is uh, the average historically in case you're wondering is more like between three and five percent so we're getting that's kind of what's expected to start getting a little bit more back to that um moving ahead same experts this is what they're sort of predicting um for this year they're at 9.75 that has uh, been drawing down from a peak a few months ago, um, close to 20 plus percent. Um, as things have shifted uh, over the last few months, um, that number is coming down. Obviously, we don't know exactly where it'll land. Um, but then moving forward, this is kind of what's expected over the next few years. Obviously, as we all saw in the last few uh, weeks, uh, forecasts can change. So, uh, But I wanted to give you an update on where we stand right now. Uh, what's expected. The one thing no one is expecting, no one is calling for, is any kind of a crash. There is a ton of demand out there. It's uh, going to start getting pent up again. Um, when rates start coming back down, you're going to feel it. Uh, there's a ton of buyers uh, that want to buy a home. So anyway, that's where we're at.